Hi guys, it's Cassie, and I bought a new designer bag that was well under a thousand dollars. I'm talking like under six fifty. Okay, very excited to show it to you. This is going to be the new designer bag reveal. Um, I have already posted pictures of it on my Instagram, and some of you were asking, and by some of you, two people, two people asked if I would do a video on this and two is all it takes. So here we are, I'm excited to show it to you. It's very like, if you know, you know, under the radar, which we love. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Okay, here we go. So, the bag is oh, the Era Moon Bag. And this is not the first time I've mentioned this bag on my channel, no. I believe I mentioned it in my spring must-haves under a thousand dollars video. I'm also 100% sure that I'm incorrectly pronouncing the brand name. There is an accent on the second E, is it Eira? It, it's an Italian brand, I don't know. And I've been thinking about it ever since. Problem is, is that they have such a beautiful range of colours that it took me a while to pull the trigger. But I'm going to go into the details, what it fits, the price, because the price is very good, in my opinion. The kinds of things that they do them in, styling, all of that, pros and cons. Era is, first and foremost, a fine jewellery brand. They're very well known for these kind of, like clip is it a carabiner i don't know just a clip a clip earring basically they're very expensive they're also very like um top tier influencer approved kiara and so on and so forth love the earrings and all of that and then not that long ago they started doing bags and i believe that this is the first style of bag that they've done the moon bag this is not a new style of bag Pucci has been doing this bag for many years um loads of other brands have kind of done a very similar style and it's very reminiscent of the Bottega Mini Jody, which I was seriously considering for a little bit and then um I don't know if my mum kind of put me off with the way that she slandered it look the whole handle looks nearly half the size of the bag itself not even a seal can save it that's it but it kind of gives me what i wanted of the mini jody but in a different way in a way that i haven't seen very many people do because this is a very kind of like under the radar bag that i'm happier that i got this one than the mini jody this is the one in satin the satin comes in loads of colors you have pink blue black orange yellow purple right lots of color choices and then the clips are either silver or a like contrasting color and it's just so cute for autumn winter they are also doing this bag but they are doing it in leather in more neutral kind of tones so you've got white black i think they've got like a similar kind of olivey and like a blush pink situation they also do one which is all crystals let me tell you my crystal concerns with this because they'll as fabulous as it is but from what i can see the crystals are like a sheet of crystals that they've basically like attached instead of the crystals being individually glued and I just know with that mesh sheet it's gonna pull it's gonna like scratch and all that business and I'm not about that life once again haven't seen it in person so I don't know if they've like smoothed it or whatever but keep that in mind if the crystal one is peaking the old fancy now the price the satin ones start from 479 pounds slash 588 dollars and the leather ones start from 559 pounds slash about 780 dollars now I got mine for an excellent price okay I got mine from Louisa Viaroma and you know that they do like random codes half the times it's the things that you want aren't applicable however this time she was waiting for me this one was 495 pounds but I used a 40% off code and ended up paying 297 pounds pounds plus 15 pounds shipping what a sodding deal I decided to go for this color actually because I have a lot of pops of colour that I wanted something that was a little bit more on the neutral side but still with a little bit of something, a little bit of neon, a little bit of hello because I thought it would match with a little bit more for my spring, summer and autumn, winter especially for like a more casual day look I think that the pops of colour, obviously depending on your style the pops of colour for the satins are going to work really well for like a night look 
your all black dress with with your bag just pop it on the side there kind of thing now let me give you like a little bit of a tour so that is how you open it okay i mean you can get into the bag with the with it closed you can you know fiddle it along and do that and explore i'll take the stuffing out but to be honest half the time it's easier just to unclip unzip and she is pretty roomy like she will fit a phone she will fit wallet keys hand sanitizer mask little makeup essentials all of that and then there's like a tiny little tiny little leather pouch on the back there that maybe in case you didn't want to do a wallet or something you could just put your card straight in there this bag not all of the bags are sustainable but this bag is now it came with this little little leaflet and i wanted to uh, read some parts because it was quite interesting so era's leather accessories are designed and made exclusively in italy the snap hooks that detail each piece are molded from abs an eco-friendly material made from regenerated plastic and color using non-toxic plants Paints even? Paints, Cassie, not plants, my gosh. Each brass trim is made entirely from eco brass, a material that's regenerated and processed to meet energy saving criteria. Energy is produced by solar panels as well as recycled water is used at different stages of the crafting process for a more efficient, sustainable approach. Don't know why I'm holding this like this. Era is dedicated to collaborating with local businesses that have a unique history to honor traditional methods in order to create exceptional pieces. Obviously I'd mentioned this bag back in my spring uh, must-haves video, but one thing kind of pushed me over the edge. Usually influencers don't really influence me too much with purchases. They really, do. I can't, I'm actually trying to think of a time when they did and they don't really. But there is one person I follow who I sodding love her style and I love who she styles and that's style me Maeve. Maeve Riley, she's a stylist, she styles Hailey Bieber, uh, Megan Fox, Sierra, some other people that I'm not necessarily that interested in but those are like the top three and I love how she dresses as well and she's been rocking these and Hailey Bieber had a pink one recently also because this isn't particularly very popular there's not loads of pictures of people wearing it on Instagram so I can't really like envision it wasn't that easy as it is with some other brands to be like okay how does it look on a body all of that business but she's been posting you know a few pictures with it and I'm like oh yes <laughs> this must happen so thank you to Maeve Riley for pushing me over the edge like I said I recently took this on holiday and I was grabbing for this at every opportunity I could it's just so easy she's there she's there she's hanging off she's having a good time I hardly fit it's so sodding light if I wasn't top handling her then guess what she was right here she was right here the whole time light easy the other thing with this bag is that even if you wanted to keep it open because it's very closed you're not gonna feel too exposed it's gonna still be quite safe because if look if anybody's drunk they've got to really get close to you and weasel in there okay you're gonna know if there are wandering hands downsides they don't have any feet all right and it's satin so you've got to be careful i did accidentally pour hand sanitizer on it but it completely dried and we have no marks and all of that however there is a tiny tiny you can see dirt mark right here um i don't know what i did to be very honest with you but it's tiny you've got to be looking for it but again with satin these are the kinds of things that you have to be a little bit more wary of compared to like a leather bag or something like that overall though like Mm, I just love the easiness of this bag. It's under the radar. It's if you know, you know. It's fabulous. It's different. It's a great price. And to be very honest with you, like, I see myself buy more and stocking up on more colours because I sodding love this bag and it's so easy and amazing. Let me know what you think. I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Um, and in the words of my father, if you and like it, tell your friends. If you don't, keep your mouth shut. I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.